Okay, so so we have two data sets. One is genotype, the other one is the phenotype. And the genotype basically I is a measure of every individual's genotype. A phenotype just a measure of one lifespan for every individual too. And if you picture they are long lived individual the unfortunately uh, <laughs> those who die early and then we compare the genotype of these two groups and see what's the major genetic difference between the two groups and then we can find the, 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 the DNA change which is in, well you probably want to leave the, for the, the longer one <laughs> but, but the comparison also show which, which uh, genotype tend to be uh, at a high frequency in short lived one. Okay, so, so we have phenotype and genotype. We compare, do a comparison of these two data sets and find out which gene is enriched or associated with lifespan differences. Okay. So that, that's a, this is a, a no, so this, the genotype data are sequenced by the Sanger Center the British uh, in, in Britain. Those uh, lifespan data are measured by Jamila Winter in the summer. So this is basically her summer research project. Um, let's see whether this code still runs or not. Mm. Uh, center, uh, not seem to be read. Uh, oh, this is additional analysis. Let's first go to the first analysis. Uh, Sanger, okay, reading the Sanger SNP data. Do some, uh, uh, okay, do some uh, bookkeeping, my strengths, you find more real steps. That's it. Uh, where, where is the, oh, here's the phenotype data. Reading, okay, let's see whether the code is still run or not. Run. It seems to be still running, you see? <laughs> I, I wrote this in a summary, so it should be running. <laughs> okay, and uh, do some bookkeeping. I'm going to uh, briefly do a demo and then I have to explain the method uh, later. Right now I'm just do a quick run. See? So instead of uh, do the whole run, I'm going to just analyze 10 genotypes, 10 mutations. It's going to take days uh, to do the whole, if you do run the IV genotype. So I only do 10. So run. I tried a different method. Yeah, that well the first one I use the linear regression to analyze. Unfortunately this result uh, doesn't give any because lifespan is a very complex uh, trait. There will be so many there will be literally thousands of uh, genes going to influence lifespan. So I have only 30 samples, I have, which means I have only 30 individuals, but the linear regression cannot put thousands of variables. You see the point? I do not have enough information for linear regression because there are thousands of genes are involved. So, so for linear regression, I have to put thousands of genes on the right hand side, but I only have 30 samples, which Basically, I don't have enough information to tell which, what are the 1,000 genes are in front lifespan. So linear regression won't work, unfortunately. Although the code still run, it just gave no significant p-value. So this one doesn't work. Uh, so, I don't, don't say this. So I, then I switched to a different method. 
this method, uh, instead of doing linear regression, this time I only, instead of linear regression, I do a partition. I call the, the east long lived, short lived, and average. Instead of doing linear regression, this time I'm only going to do a chi square test. But chi square test only works for large data set. I only have three. So a more accurate test is called Fisher's exact test. So, so I'm applying Fisher's exact test for this sample. So let me see. Yeah. Instead of uh, running the whole thing, I'm still going to run the first 10. <coughs> see whether this or not. Well, the first several lines we already run. All I change is just uh, remove the linear regression and add uh, the fishes in that test. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, I remove the linear regression and then use fishes in that test for this. I'm not going to output since uh, otherwise it will override the orange one calculation. So, so look here, the linear regression I removed instead of uh, instead, I'm applying the Fisher's exact test here. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. It's running. Yeah. So, so basically, Lisa and Jamila, if you can show me this, then independently, the first part you have done, the second part you can work together. Yeah. So. Uh, this, I'm not asking too much since uh, you have only one week. <laughs> but at least you need to you need to get your hand on show. It, well, it's almost like a driving test. I'm, I'm not going to ask you driving on the highway, but at least you're going to show me you know how to start a car and driving a parking lot. How about that? <laughs> okay. And then we will in. in uh, increase this criteria. You, eventually, you going to drive on the highway. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, okay. All right. Uh, that's it. I'm done with the, the this project. Mm -hmm. okay.